Hello and welcome to Everything Dance. I'm your mentor, Dancing Dawn. This is your go-to site for all dance subjects and styles and all other related topics from beginner to professional and dance teaching qualifications. Forward brush. The theory of a forward brush is a broader movement than a forward tap as the swing is now coming from the knee and hip. One beat, which means one sound. So first of all, then let's check that forward tap to see the difference. So forward tap, remember, use the ball only in a small movement forward. Do not come too far past the other foot or too far off the ground. Now as a forward brush, bend the knee and a bigger movement. So I'll show you that again. A forward tap, a smaller movement. And a forward brush, a much bigger movement. And the other leg, a forward tap, a smaller movement, and a forward brush, bigger movement, remember the knee and the hip make the work on a forward brush. Theory of a backward brush, a broader movement than a backward tap, as swing is coming from the knee and hip, one beat which means one sound. So I'll show you that. First of all, as the backward tap, you therefore start the foot forwards, using the ball only, backwards, a little movement. The backward brush, a much bigger swing. And again, let's show you the difference. A backward tap, little. A backward brush, a much bigger forward and backward brushes, almost like a pendulum look, and forward and backward taps, forward and backward brushes. Forward and backward taps. Remember if you do a fast forward and backward tap, it becomes a shuffle. You could not do, therefore, a fast forward and backward brush. It just would not occur. So if you want to do fast movements, a forward and backward tap becomes a shuffle. Slow is forward and backward tap. And bigger is brushes. So forward and backward tap, we can only count one, two, one, two, one, two. If we do it as a shuffle, we have to count and one or less. And one. You cannot do slow shuffles and you cannot do fast forward and backward taps and you can only do the slow brushes. Stump. The theory of a stump is stand on ball of one foot, push foot forward, finishing with a heavy heel beat. Remember, heel beat means you do a heel sound and leave it down. You can make lots of different styles of stump. So the one I've just said for the theory, stand a ball one foot, begin here, push it forward, and then land with the heavy heel beat. And that is one sound, one movement. I'll show you again. It's hard to show it very slowly because it is a quick one movement. But in slow motion, you will begin up, push forward on the ball, and bang the heel down at the same time. Try and show you again slowly. So up on the ball, 
push it forward, it doesn't come off the floor, bang the heel down. But we would do that in one movement. So as you're pushing forward on the ball, bang the heel. Do not jump or leave the floor. The push is just shooting across the floor. I'll show you again the push bit. Remember you're up on your ball. Just scoot it forward, then bang the heel down, but in one movement. So literally as you push, bang the heel down. See how my knees are flexed to give support. So as I say, you can do stunts on two feet, up on the balls, push and bang heels down. That's a lot easier to practice that one. I can probably do that one a lot easier showing you the pushy bit. Let's turn this way so you can see. Up, push, bang. But remember, as you push, you bang the heels at the same time, but I'm showing you slow motion. Up, push forward, whoops, and bang. Let's try again. It's very hard to push slow. Up, push, bang. Keep the feet together. So use your feet evenly. And the right speed. Start up, take one sound, banging the heels nice and loud. You can do them progressing in a row. So you could do stomp, 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 for example. You can do them diagonally and back again. Stomp, up, back. Stomp, up, back. Stomp, up, back. Stomp, up, back. You could make a combination, one, one, two. Okay, so you can make anything you like out of stunts. Scuff. Scuff, the theory of scuff, is a flat stump carried forward and off the ground, supporting me flexed. Again, one beat. So for a scuff, we stand with a flex leg, like your pushing motion and off the floor. So in slow motion, flex your knee that you're standing on. You're going to do like a flat stamp coming through and off the floor. So there's no movement here. So think of stamping, banging that heel down as you carry it through. And I'll show you again slowly. So it's like down as you push through. And the right speed, one sound. See how it finishes off the floor. Not high, but definitely off the floor. 